Uh, so I'm probably pretty late on this, but I'm never the first with the news anyway. Usually I'm a couple of days late, so if anything, it's good. But um, yeah, Moon In's out, along with another actually really big change, which I'll talk about in a bit, um, which, you know, is, is, is where these come in. Uh, interesting. Anyway, um, also, there's uh, supposed to be like an event happening. I'm pretty sure anyway. I thought that was this patch, uh, but there's like a couple new skins, new podium, etc, uh, etc. Et I'll talk about that as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, let's just get into training mode on Moonin. Before we do that, I should actually mention, um, Dex Stance is actually going to be the best stance to use, in my opinion. Anyway, you might think I'm, I'm completely, utterly brain damaged, but, um, with Dex Stance, if you didn't know, you need 7 Dex and 7 Speed to get Nair Sertru on Scythe. And she already has 7 base speed, and you can put the deck stance on and take away from an attack, which you don't need anyway because you have Bone Scythe. You're not going to be killing till 7 million damage anyway. One attack isn't going to make a difference. Um, you know, you might want to run defense stance, which could be a shout. But if you do want Naya Sarah on Scythe, which is very, very nice to have, then deck stance is actually going to be a good stance for once. Alright, so uh, with the deck stance, then Naya Sarah, as you can see, is true. Um, it's one frame without, so... Honestly, probably the best, the best, I can't speak, stance to run. Uh, I mean, it's one I'm going to be running anyway. I think if you don't care too much about that, and you're playing more for the bow, then maybe a defense stance is better. But yeah, I think that's kind of important. Uh, just me though. It's, it's, I, I don't know. I think that might become the meta for this legend. Um, and this legend is probably going to be meta because this legend has no recovery on anything at all. Literally, every like 90% of these sigs you can jump out before you touch the ground uh so like if i do this here th this is literally unpunishable you could uh, how i could land i could cover myself with like anything i could just set cover myself with that um i, I could i could jump you know forwards and then there if it misses i could just jump backwards and escape i could sport dodge before i touch the ground as well like okay well i kind of had a weird the ledge thing there but yeah it, it's all kind of tapped and it's the same with literally every sig the end sig this is disgust this is the best side fence sig in the game i'm gonna say that straight away like i don't even need to to, to use this in game so this is the best side fence sig it kind of has like a weird thing it's unjumpable but i'm pretty sure it is fast fallable uh don't take my word for it but pretty much every single side light and on scythe is fast fallable including mordexes um but it's kind of weird because if you hear like really stacked it just, it's like you see that 13 frames, right? If you're like higher damage too, and you hit this move really stacked, it just doesn't hit. You have to hit it like kind of far away for it to be nine frames, which seems to be the lowest you can get. Um, but yeah, if you, if you actually hit it here, it just fully doesn't hit. Hit it far away and it's fine. Nine frames, it's unjumpable, all that. So, I mean, I, I guess kind of you just have to, you know, be aware of where you've hit the side light and then you know if you should go for the end or not. But yeah, this legend, it kills really early. Satellite Entig will kill at 130, and it is small brawl, so keep that in mind. But that's a thing. The side sig, sorry, oh, that's a that's a D sig. Well, the D sig will kill immediately, basically. It, it, if I, I don't know, set him to like 100 maybe. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to get the bot to go off stage. But uh, I, I would assume, okay, he's fully just going to recover high every time. You know, and uh, uh, yeah, brilliant. Thanks. Well, if you do hit it, anyway, yeah, it, it kills very early. I think it was like 110, something like that. It just it's it's quite disgusting. And he's gonna recover high every single time. Okay, I I love training mode. Oh, he he recovered. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, side sig kills really early too. And if you slide charge this, because of the way this works, it, it kind of carries your opponent with it, right? And it, this is what I was talking about when I was looking at the reveal. Is if it carries the opponent with the sig rather than just the sig being one hit this is gonna kill very early off stage like off a slide charge or something because you like it's gonna carry them all the way over here and then shoot them off which is mad um so yeah the, the side sig is actually pretty good uh the hitbox is nice as well like it's not as i, I thought it, there's potential for it to be bad it doesn't hit stacked so at least it's that um and it has like a decent dead zone but then you can see like yeah it has no priority at first but then like the further you go the more priority it has and then at the end it has like loads um you can see like the little pink uh, yellow hitboxes there um so yeah it, it, 
it kind of like builds up the sig is better at the end than it is at the start but like you can see at the end there how much range it has um you can still hit pretty close don't get me wrong like you can hit it from there it's just that if you try to hit it um like directly on top of them like this it's just it's not gonna work which is good it, it shouldn't but either way has absolutely no and like if you like on hit it has zero and like like it literally has zero to be honest you can really string out of it it has that little end lag on hit it, it it has none like uh anyway you can see that it just doesn't have end lag but like on hit nothing literally nothing it, it's mad um yeah the end sig is probably the worst for it though because like this is unpunishable that actually i mean well this, this is actually unpunishable because you know it, the position they're going to be in when you're using that yeah that how you can't punish it also you can slide charge it. oh that's, that's that's the wrong thing but yeah you can like slide charge this you can hear like that it kills extremely early it spikes at a really nice angle but um pretty insane uh side six honestly though the bow six might even be worse okay so this de like the bow six looked awful on the reveal but the hitbox for this is ridiculous okay so you have a stacked hitbox and then you have a hitbox on either side of you it doesn't spike but you can get it so that it sends horizontal basically which is a very nice direction to send um so say he's at like 100 damage or something like that uh and say i like i hit him here okay well i don't even have to hit it that close like if you hit like the horizontal hitbox which is right on the edge like that it kills so so early it's it's yeah it's it's quite insane uh well i say so so early he's probably at like 130 now and it didn't kill but you know for a, what four attack legend i think i'm running at the moment with bow as well yeah it's uh most definitely not bad um and it also like i said hit stacked which i didn't expect but yeah it fully just hit stacked uh, and that's a nice motorbike going past the yard so it can send directly up it can send sideways it doesn't spike though um which i thought it might do but it doesn't so at least it's that the nsig though kills very early at least it, i thought you know there might be potential that it shoot combos out of these uh delight it doesn't so thank god but um yeah say you hit this off a gc or something they're just dead like they are just dead uh it's yeah it has a lot of force um so say it probably kill it like 90 or something like that off uh if they're high enough that is and once again it's small brawl haven so take it with a grain of salt but mad basically it it, it it probably the worst thing on the whole kit it's just the worst in that uh, in terms of like end lag because yeah it, this is the worst like, this is the most amount of end lag any of the sigs have you have to really deep that because even this is nothing but yeah the d sig you can jump out of it like you, you can't you don't touch a floor or anything just zero end lag insane uh no end lag obviously on here either um and then the side sig is a weird one obviously okay so it, it has like the properties of caspian side sig which is like uh it just just no end lag. and like the kind of the way it um like sends you upwards it just it, it just reminds me a lot of Cas um cassidy caspian and sig right or d sig sorry on guitars but it also does this thing which the caspian d sig doesn't do i'm pretty sure anyway if it does it's news to me but say you hit it like on stage the shots will, and this is kind of like the vector D sig on lance, but the shots will like drag them uh, with you until the last one. And then as long as the last one goes off stage, then they're going off stage. And look at the angle that that spikes, by the way. It's disgusting. Uh, yeah, the, the bow kit is actually, it looks really fun to me anyway. But yeah, th this sig is another one that is just, you're not going to be able to punish. Like you're actually just not, there's nothing you can do about it. It's probably... Well, I mean, it's 100% better than the Vector D-Sig. It has the only good thing about the Vector D-Sig, which, like I said, is the fact that it just... It, it, it drags you along with it. So you don't actually have to hit all the shots off stage. But, yeah. And it also bounces off the wall like that, which is what I was trying to show off. Um, I don't know if you saw. But, like, it, it doesn't drop on the wall, which... I don't know if the Vector D-Sig does or not, but, yeah. It, like, if you do hit it, like, stacked on the wall like this, it'll just bounce them off the wall. Uh, and it also has like like a hitbox. I, I want to get back on stage. That was fully the wrong sig. We don't have to speak about that. Um, but yeah, so you hit it against the wall. The hitbox, it's kind of like an orb there or something like that where the hitbox just goes on the wall uh, as if it's hitting grounded, if that makes sense. I, I, I don't know. You know what I mean though? Like 
yeah, the hitboxes don't just disappear. They actually just they bounce off the wall. So you have some hitboxes on the wall, uh, which is something. Um, and it's also slightly chargeable as well. So yeah, you can just do that. I don't know if that's you know the best option in the world, but it's there, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just no no end lag. That's the main thing. That in conclusion, this legend zero end lag on anything at all. You just you're not gonna get punished. You can throw out E6 for free. And as with every legend that comes out and has no end lag at all, it will probably get patched, right? Like most likely, the end lag is is gonna be increased on like all these moves. Uh, and I fully messed that up. Um, but yeah, the end lag will probably get increased. Uh, like if you think like Onyx, any of those legends, why is it? I hate training mode. I really do hate training mode. I always talk about how much I hate training mode, but it, I can't stress enough how ass is. Wait, what? That killed? Um, interesting. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So basically, like I said, you're not getting punished for anything. Throw out the six for free. The six are insane too. Uh, this one is the only one I'm like skeptical, the skeptical about. Out of sight, like anyway. By it, like self. Insane sig. Like I said, probably the best sci and sig. I just, I need to know, uh, like what happens outside like if it's fast fallable or what like I, I don't really know but yeah um uh, probably just get into some games i mean well first i'll talk about like the other new stuff um and then yeah like i said we'll, we'll get into some games see how the legend is just had to drop seven racks because it's a new legend obviously just painful oh yeah the skins too I, I didn't even show those off but i don't i don't like any of them i think base is actually probably the best looking one I don't, I don't know. They're just not for me. Uh, these two especially not. I mean, there's a duck skin, which is kind of funny, but it doesn't look nice. I don't think so anyway. This one looks kind of cool. I don't know. I, they're, they're just, yeah, like I said, not for me, but maybe some people like them. Anyway, yeah, the reason that emojis are in the game now, um, and you can do these post-game as well, is because on PC, they just fully removed post-game chat. Uh, I guess, I mean, like, you could, yeah, I could, the reason's obvious, like, there's a lot of toxicity in that, but it should have just been opt-in, so, like, you know, when you launch the game for the first time, there's no chat, but you can opt-in to having a chat if you want, that's how I would have done it personally, but, I mean, yeah, they fully removed it all, so in, in place of it, there's emojis, and also, um, after you finish a game with somebody, like, an experimental, ranked, anything, uh, you can invite them to a lobby. There's still lobby chat. So if you really do want to go out your way um, to, to BM someone, I, I guess that's the new strat. You, you just post game, you invite them to a lobby because uh, that's an option now. And then you BM them in the lobby. Uh, perfect, really. But um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of meant for like, you know, you say you're playing ranked dawns to somebody and, and then you think they're good. Uh, and they're not shitters. Then you invite them to the lobby post game. And then maybe uh, ask them to be your teammate. I, I, I don't. The, how, oh, I mean, yeah, I guess it's chat. There's still no console chat, so, so I, I don't see any of these. How do you ask them to be your team? Anyway, yeah, um, that's a thing. So no more post game chat. Rest in peace to to all the BMs. Um, and yeah, that it's not it, it's not the one. I can't lie. They might revert it. They probably won't, to be honest. But um, yeah. Uh, the other thing I was talking about was there's just like the anniversary event which i thought was coming out today i, I could have sworn it was coming out today but yeah there's a podium there's a hattori skin there's a core skin uh most likely i, I don't know if they confirmed or not but the gala colors will be coming back um because that was the last anniversary one and there's also a new emote which is just a chair but which actually looks kind of cool it sounds shit when i say it like that but it is actually kind of cool um, and I think that's like all the new stuff coming. No balance patch or anything, obviously. Um, but the next one, we'll probably see some meaning changes before she's like totally legal. But yeah, that's that's pretty much everything. Um, it's just I might play a game experimental on meaning. I don't know. I, I mean, it, it, was, it was to be expected, really. Just set up a meaning immediately. Uh, it's probably all you're going to queue into for the next at least maybe week. It, it honestly depends. I'll tap the legend ends up being but yeah there's gonna be a lot of mooning a lot um and i didn't clock what what stance this guy was running and i just messed up the combo straight away um but if it was the next stance then i have respect for him he knows the tech already 
But okay, I guess I don't know the tech. Wait. Oh, it's because I don't have Dex once unlocked. That was just training room. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I was gonna say I, I don't know how I'm missing this so consistently. Uh, but yeah, let's try it. Hit this. Okay. I, I didn't try ground point. I tried to go for a second. Uh, but yeah, the SIGs, like I said, you're just not going to get punished for them, ever. This is insane. Like I said, probably the best Siphon SIG in the game. Uh, and you can just see the, the lack of NLAG already shining. It's kind of insane. You, you know, you're not getting punished for anything, ever, in your life. Not once. Okay. Um, uh, and, and yeah, this side SIG is... It's just, I don't know. I did say though, you know, if you have both Scythe, like, you're going to need the Legend to kill early. Um, oh no, not kill early, what am I talking about? Um, have good six, or you're just not going to kill at all. And it has good six, so I mean, I, I guess... Uh, my, my, well, I mean, my prize with that, the legend would be shit, because I'm going to be queuing into him, or her, just 24s. So my prize weren't really answered. But any of the Moonin players out there, or people who are, you know, planning on playing Moonin, yeah, their prayers were answered, like, swiftly as well. Um, but yeah, there, there is just zero and like on anything like it it's kind of ridiculous to be honest uh and then maybe side tick no okay um i, I want to play the bow to be honest uh, I, I need to okay I, I fully didn't have to get punished by that i don't know why i let myself get punished by it to be honest it was, it was a bit of a dumb decision by me okay and then maybe a d sig oh he actually punished it i'm quite impressed uh no not punishing that one and then end sig oh you know, that's actually, like I said, the slowest SIG in the whole kit. And it's still extremely fast for no reason. I mean, it, I, I understand. Because obviously, high dex legend, they kind of want to make dex not as useless. Because it is unbelievably useless usually. So, it, it does make sense. Doesn't mean I'm happy about it though. Uh, okay. I will kill. Okay, there we go. Uh, and that's what I mean with the fact you don't even have to hit it off stage. You can hit it on stage and it'll still just spike. Which is, I, I, I guess, I don't know. I don't know how broken this is going to be, any of this stuff. Because you're going to have to see. Uh, also, I didn't talk about how the D-Sig, the hitbox lingers for so long. It, it's not just like one hitbox and then it's gone. No, it, the hitbox stays there for such a long amount of time. Like, it's actually so dumb. Uh, I mean, I say such a long amount of time. It's not like ridiculous right but it's it's something it's not just like a you know you throw it out it's gone immediately no it, it stays around um and then it's like no uh, i just want to hit like a, like a side tick or something okay so the, the little wall thing it has isn't isn't the best maybe i mean the hitbox did look pretty small for it i want to kill with a sig i don't know what sig yet there we go the sig that hits stacked even though it just doesn't look like it should hit stacked in any world ever it yeah, I don't know. We're I mean, pretty fun, actually, though. And then we have the emojis. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's it, I kind of like them, but at the same time, the fact that this is the replacement or this is the answer to to console chat is so yeah. Like <laughs> we, we wanted chat for so long, and now we just have this. We have this terrorist emoji. What does this even mean? I don't know. Uh, there's some useful ones, I guess, like this. And if you decide to QEU, you can use this. If you get an 8 minute hit, the rest, I don't really know. Facepalm. Uh, yeah. Maybe they'll add more. They're probably going to have to pay like £2 each for them at some point in, in the future. But hopefully it doesn't come to that. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. I uh, hope you lot do. Uh, go on to have fun with Munin and that. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. Uh, obviously, I, I was late with this. So um, if you want me to be earlier next time, then I I just, just, just show me you want it. You know, you leave a like, subscribe. And maybe next time, um, I'll actually not be lazy and get out of bed a, a little bit earlier. But yeah, see you on the next one. Have a great day, days. And peace.